Well, I've been busy building this garden and it's still quite a construction <laughs> mess. I'm sorry, but uh, let me take you for a little tour here. So in there is my indoor grow room. And there's an aquaponic system in there. Getting these boxes like this from uh, Smuckers and uh, doing quite a bit with them. This is a uh, hydroponic system here. It's called a Dutch bucket system. And this is a uh, no, I'm sorry, a, a bioponics. It was a aquaponic system. Back here, this is still part. Right, this one, this bed right here, is still part of the bioponics. This greenhouse will soon be um, for starts, and it will be a wicking, a wicking bio. I'm not sure bioponics aquaponics I'm not sure which way I'll go with that but it'll just be used for starts mainly uh, got some uh, little cutting started here now this potato patch back here is um, a hoga culture as is this large bed back here with the, the concrete blocks around it that's all filled in with um, large pieces of, uh, of wood, mainly um, mulberry. And back here, I've got some... Uh, these are uh, wicking beds. So, uh, what I do is I uh, fill these beds with water through this hole right here, and it wicks up to create a very nice moist condition in the soil. This trellis here will be um, covered with uh, squash, uh, cucumbers, tomatoes, and the idea is that it will create a uh, interesting place to come sit in the shade of all of these plants with the, uh, the fruit just hanging down through the holes. At least that's what I, I hope for. Um, this may look a little messy, but uh, I uh, tore up some, uh, I think that's arugula, and uh, I just green mulch, well, just mulched. I'm using the the old crop uh, that I've taken out for um, for mulching. This is a uh, another wicking bed. Two of these right here. So that's my gardens. Got uh, hydroponics, bioponics. Aquaponics, hookah culture, all going on in this small space. But I've got to uh, address deer. I'm back outside of this area, which is fenced in pretty well on these two sides. But over here, I've got, you know, from the front here and from this side over here, I'm going to have to address deer proofing and I'm not quite certain how to do that. I don't know if deer would respect a single strand of wire placed at the top of say this post right here over to that fence. Uh, anyway I could really use your help with that. Okay, thanks. I hope I hear from someone.